When test and match data agree perfectly, we see a small green check near the test data summary box, as shown here. However, any differences found, either in the connectors or wiring, will cause an error to be flagged. The Model M3 cable I will also detect resistance threshold violations and resistor tolerance errors. Cable I alerts you to an error in four different ways. First, the indicator that shows a green check for a good cable changes to a red X for a bad cable. On the wiring schematic, we see that two wires have been crossed in this DB25 male-to-female cable. Pass and fail indicators on the tester itself also show the test result. Because we have crossed wires in this cable, the fail indicator comes on. If you've set up the system to use automatic testing, something we'll discuss in a later clip, you may sound a tone of your choice on the audio speakers, amplified to whatever level is needed in your lab or production area. Finally, you may show a differences list during testing. Just click the delta button, which looks like a triangle. The differences list not only details the specific errors found, but also gives a large rectangular graphic denoting the pass or fail condition. Here you see the plus signs indicate extra connections, which are shorts, and the minus signs indicate missing connections, which are opens. During testing, you may wish to keep the differences list window visible at all times. When I correct the crossed wires and retest the cable, it now matches the model perfectly.